Today let us learn about bacteria, its structure and reproduction. The study of bacteria is called as bacteriology. Before we understand the structure and reproduction, let us discuss about the general characters. The general characters can be discussed under different heads. Let us start with the bacterial cell nature. Nature of the bacterial cell. Bacterial cells are prokaryotic. They are less differentiated. have both the characters of plants and animals and are omnipresent. These are placed in a special class called as Cisomycetes. Now let us discuss about the nutrition in bacteria. Bacteria shows a variety of nutritional types. The first type of nutrition or one of the types of nutrition which is exhibited by bacteria is autotropic type of nutrition that is the bacterial cells can synthesize their own food material using energy and they have a special chlorophyll called as bacteriochlorophyll A. Certain types of bacteria are parasitic that is they directly get the nourishment from the host plant or animals. There are some bacterial cells which show a saprophytic type of nutrition that is they dwell on dead decaying organic matter. There are few bacterial cells which are called as symbionts or the type of nourishment is symbiotic. That is they have a mutual association with the host, plant or animal. One of the example of symbiotic bacteria is rhizobium which is seen in the root nodules of leguminous plants. Now let us see the cell structure or the general characters of cell. Bacterial cells are unicellular, that is they have a single cell which performs all the functions. The cell wall of bacterial cell is made of 
50 dog like cans. Point three. They are prokaryotic. because they do not show a well-defined nucleus or nucleus is incipient that is the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus is absent. So, the genetic material is represented as a double stranded DNA which is called as a nucleoid. All the double membrane cell organelles like mitochondria, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi complex are absent. Ribosomes are seen and are 70S type of ribosomes that is they have two subunits one which belongs to 50S subunit which is the larger subunit and the other one is the 30S subunit. In younger bacterial cells the ribosomes occur in clusters of 4 to 6 ribosomes together which are called as polysomes. Plastids are absent. But the chlorophyll pigment which is present in some autotropic type of bacteria is seen in convoluted sacs which are formed from the plasma membrane. The next character is reproduction. It is the general discussion on reproduction in bacterial cells. Bacterial cells reproduce by asexual and sexual methods. Asexual method of reproduction and sexual method of reproduction. Under asexual method of reproduction, the most common one is binary fission. They also reproduce by the formation of conidia. Some type of bacteria also show budding and certain Pathogenic bacteria shows endospore formation. These are the different types of asexual modes of reproduction which are exhibited in the bacterial cells. The sexual method of reproduction can be further divided into three types. 
actually this is not a true sexual reproduction because there is no gamete formation only because there is a transfer of genetic material from one cell to the other this is considered to be a sexual reproduction one of the mode of sexual reproduction is called as conjugation or as known conjugation the second type is transduction and the last one or another third one is called as transformation we are going to discuss in detail about all this later in a next video now let us see the distribution of bacterial cells distribution or occurrence of bacterial cells they are cosmopolitan in their distribution that is they are seen everywhere omnipresent or cosmopolitan in their distribution seen seen growing in all sorts of natural conducive habitats they grow in a wide range of temperatures that is certain bacterial cells can grow at a temperature of 0 degree centigrade and some of them have an ability to grow even at 100 degrees centigrade because of this range of temperature or because they can dwell in this wide range of temperature they are distributed throughout wherever there is a conducive environment they grow they would stand high acidic conditions and high saline conditions they are adapted to grow at a ph which ranges from 0 to 11 that is they can grow in highly acidic soils or grow in alkaline conditions also some bacterial cells are seen growing at an altitude of 6 km above the sea level and some of them are seen growing on the sea floor normally bacterial cells can grow at one atmospheric pressure but they can withstand a pressure as high as 3000 to 6000 atmospheres they are motile or non motile aerobic or anaerobic the general morphology which includes the size bacterial cells the size ranges from 0.5 to 2 micrometers in diameter but they are also seen in a variety of lengths in certain bacilli type of bacterial cells 
one drop of water approximately shows 5 into 10 to the power of 6 bacterial cells. In the same way, we try to estimate 1 gram of soil approximately shows the presence of 1 into 10 to the power of 5 to 1 into 10 to the power of 7 bacterial cells. Regarding the shape of bacteria, they are seen in a variety of shapes. The most commonly seen are the spherical ones which are called as the cocci type of bacterial cells. They are spherical or oval in nature and even in cocci type there are again certain differences. If the cocci type occurs in a single spherical structure, it is called as micrococus or you can also call it as monococcus type of bacteria. If they occur in pairs, it is known as diplococcus. If they occur in a cluster of four cells, it is called tetracoccus. Some bacterial cells occur in clusters of 8 to 64, forming a cuboidal structure. And this is called as sarcina. Certain cocos type of bacteria appear as bunch of grapes. This is Staphylococcus. Some cocci appear as chain. These are the streptococcus type of bacteria. The other type, or the next shape which can be discussed is the rod shaped bacteria which is called as the bacilli form which appears like this elongated rod shaped bacterial structures. Even in bacilli form, we have monobacilli, diplobacilli or streptobacillus conditions or streptobacillus forms. Mono is when a single rod shaped structure appears with, that is monobacillus. If they occur in pairs, diplobacillus or if they occur in chain, streptobacilli form. There are certain bacterial cells which have comma shaped structure. These are called as the Vibrio. Some of them appear helically coiled. They are spirulum type of bacteria. Certain bacteria have the ability to change their shape. They are pleomorphic type of bacterial cells.